From the way I hear it, Campbell lived a pretty posh life. Maybe it's not my place to say, but men of the faith shouldn't live like barons. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Havelock and Lord Pendleton are in the courtyard. I expect they'll want to congratulate you. Alive. Thank you, Corvo, thank you. My uncle's a good man, and one day he'll prove it. Here. I know you did this for the right reasons, but I want you to take this as a reward. It's an old heirloom one of my aunts gave me. Top off the line with river water, but eventually someone swoons. Then the fresh bottles are fetched from the cellars. Yes. Hopefully the High Overseer is the first step along that path. And we must find a girl. Attention. All citizens living on the north side of the river, like being between there John Clavering Boulevard and I'd Dunwall the Tower, of an are advised to remain indoors until yeah. further notice. Quite right. In any case, we won't get the Lord Regent until we weaken his base. All the pieces are in play. He controls the city watch. Through Campbell, he had the religious faction. Someone is funding the military. And he currently has a majority in Parliament. Yes, I'm aware of that. My brothers control the voting bloc for my family. I'm very much aware of that. The Admiral was right in recruiting you. Nothing's been the same since the Lord Regent took power. But at least Campbell's gone and my uncle lived. My pa always wanted me to be an overseer. If he could see us now. Next time I see my uncle, I will not mention my knowledge of any of this. But he will wonder why I'm smiling. Someday he will be in a position to help you, and he will not hesitate. Just you wait and see. I feel... hope. She and her uncle, the last of the Karnak family. She dreams of freedom, and then the decks of the whaling ships fast after the beasts of the sea. But alas, she is a woman. Such sadness. She, she is Callista Kerr now. She, she has learned, learned to defend, defend herself, herself in this treacherous city. Sailors tell tales of monsters far out to sea. But I'll tell you, there's strange things in this river no one talks about. Lights in the water, late at night. I've seen faces too. You did right, Corvo. Even as a faithful man, I can see that. Some nights, I'm glad I just paddle the boat. You 
inspiration is coming faster. My mind works faster at night than it does during the day. I'm being swept away and I can no longer tell if it's genius or madness. When Corvo arrived, he brought some force from the void with him. Or perhaps I'm more brilliant than I even supposed. <laughs> Can I be of service to you? High overseer in his own house. I hope the tools I designed for you function to your satisfaction. The fact that I am standing here and talking to you affirms that this is true in several ways. Tell me you don't know how to curtsy properly. Please, sir. I was never in service with a noble. That's not an excuse. You need to learn proper decorum. The Hound Pits has seen a few lords and ladies in its day. If they were here, I expect they didn't want to be recognized, sir. Never mind that. Lord Pendleton ought to be shown the respect he deserves. He doesn't require it, but he notices. Yes, sir. Sorry. But even so, have you forgotten we may soon be guarding a future Empress? You will be in the presence of the most important person in the entire known world, and you don't know how to curtsy. But she's just a child, and she's not even here. No one knows where she is. Well, our masters are just the people to find her, I'll have you know. Please learn your manners before then. Sometimes I wonder if the plague is just going to go on and on and on and kill everyone ever and it's the end of the world. Think of that. If the city watch breaks in, I know what I'll do. I know how not to be noticed. I won't be the one to give us away. I saw the Lord Regent once. He stood on a balcony and stared. 
wouldn't even wave to the people below. Attention, Dunwall citizens. All I ever wanted is my own little place. A member of the Maybe if the plague kills enough folk, one day I can. And guardsmen are authorized to carry out this sentence on the spot. The offender's possessions are legally forfeit. You did it! Somehow you took down the High Overseer Campbell against the odds. I knew you were our man, Corvo. With Campbell gone, we've hurt the Lord Regent immeasurably. And with Martin back, we'll have the finest strategist alive. The Lord Regent must be shitting himself in Dunwall Tower. Yes, and Campbell's journal, let's not forget. Our hope is that in these encoded pages, the location and condition of Emily Caldwin can be discovered. Our entire movement will mean nothing if we can't place the rightful heir on the throne. We must act fast. No doubt the Lord Regent is holding Emily somewhere, waiting to reveal her, to step out as the hero and further cement his regency. If he doesn't bring the young lady forth soon, there will be infighting among the nobles as to who should succeed the Empress. Yes, time is against us. But now you should take a well-earned rest, Corvo. We will decipher the contents of the High Overseer's journal and share them with you later. Sometimes I think this conspiracy feels like the start of a joke, don't you? An admiral, an aristocrat, and an overseer walk into a bar. <laughs> I wonder what the punchline will be. Without a leader, the Abbey's going to be in disarray for a while. But how to take advantage? Now's the moment when we need Martin. Damn these delays. If they ever find us, there'll be nothing left but ashes. When I bought this place, I never thought I'd be living here. The Navy was the only thing I loved, and I refused to see the Lord Regent ruin it. What kind of woman will young Emily grow up to be? Or will she even get to grow up? What kind of an empress will she be? That Samuel fellow looks familiar to me, but I can't place him. Welcome back, Master Corvo. You know, I expected a rough-around-the-edges military man, like the Admiral. You're actually a gentleman. I heard a stilt walker pass a few blocks away. They must suspect we're here. We're risking so much. I do hope it all ends well. I know you're from Circonis, south of us, but you've lived in the city for years now. Though mostly at the palace, so you probably haven't even seen some of the worst districts. You know, I always wondered if you and the Empress... Mm, no, I shouldn't ask. We'll have to find Emily soon. With Campbell out of play, they're likely to move her. 
whiskey everywhere in this place, but good wine is hard to come by. Emergency grain rations will be available in the Civil Services District at Sunrise. Please see your tax assessor to secure food coupons before requesting rations. I could use a stiff drink. Nerves. What sort of court will we be left with when all this is over? The grand social events I remember might well never return. Some of the noble families will have to be purged, of course. I'll drink to their memory. The outsider knows they wouldn't drink to mine. Attention, Dunwall citizens. This is a reminder that walls of light erected in our streets are for your protection. However, they will respond to any touch or Memoir, with Chapter 28. Furthermore, Waverly, Waverly. Misdemeanor to throw Waverly. Any object the very name animal. sweeps one away. She came into our cold marble hall and brought light and warmth. She changed our lives forever. It was only later I realized she was a traitorous little weasel, like all the boils. My father served in the field under General Alfred Pendleton, where he took the wound that crippled him. I hope I will do no less if called upon. Until then, well, there is plenty of silver to polish. For my master's sake, I do hope a finer vintage becomes available. Why did they select such a drafty building as a base of operation? I had hoped the Admiral was of noble stock, but I very much fear he achieved his position through merit alone. Does no one have any silver polish? Citizens displaced by quarantine measures are reminded that the Dunwall Navy has bunks, food, and salary, and in some cases, legal amnesty available for qualified applicants. Report to a recruiter to learn more about the opportunities in service to the Lord Regent.
You're lucky I keep you on. It is every citizen's what? duty this to report treasonous This place would fall apart in ten minutes without me. The state depends is that so? on you. In any case, you can't dismiss me. I went through the books this morning and found five mistakes you've made. Very well. You're lucky I found them before the Admiral did. It's a nice old pub. These beds have seen quite a bit of use, I can tell you. You'd think a Navy man wouldn't be so particular about his linens. It was a milkmaid who started it. She took ill one morning after her chores, but the milk had already been delivered. That was all it took for them to wall the place off. Plague spreads fast. My master had a very fitful night. No one sleeps well here. When they come to get me, they'll be surprised. I've held a sword before, believe it or not. Please pardon the untidiness of the room. I will tend to it shortly. Pendleton. Ugh, no, I'd rather die of plague. All I ever wanted was to keep a respectable public house. You'd think a Navy man wouldn't be so particular about his linens. Lady Lydia Pendleton. Ugh, no, I'd rather die of plague. You'd think a Navy man wouldn't be so particular about his linens. I know the Golden Cat. Not as a patron, mind you. I designed some specialized devices for them. I kept the blueprints, if anyone is curious. Don't. I brought you tea as a courtesy to a colleague. I won't make that mistake in the future. I'm sorry, I only thought... Never mind what I thought. Thank you for the tea. I have to get back to the Admiral. He has news for me. Master Piero has a great deal to learn in some areas. I'm sure Piero will make some lady a fine husband. Some other lady. I might even fancy him, but the way he stares at me, I don't even think he's aware of it. He spends all his time with books and machines. I don't think he understands that I'm not one of them. Just waiting for my orders to come in, sir. You can count on me. Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. 
I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. Ah, hello, Corvo. Cursed weepers, roaming all over the city. This movement will have a cost. For some of us, it will be very high. I wonder, Corvo, do you have brothers somewhere? You left your family on Sirkonos to come here for the Empress, didn't you? There will be lasting consequences when this is all said and done. Make no mistake about that. Their fate rests on your effort, on the strength of your hands and of your heart.
They stood in a circle around the candles and cut their hands to form their alliance. The blood hissed as it touched the flames. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Dust here, dust there. Feels like the whole world is dusty. Good day to you, Corvo. Oh, I don't think I've noticed that tattoo on your hand before. It's interesting. For the restless hand shall be raised against the common good. Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. Corvo, I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed, you've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo, because we've gotten what we've wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Campbell's book appears to contain much more than we expected. He was blackmailing a number of highly ranked overseers. With the information in this journal, we will be able to manipulate the religious faction. The Overseers will bend to our will. You've never been to the Golden Cat? No, I suppose not. Me neither, of course. Corvo, a moment if I may. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard. Cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with him to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. They'll be protected by the City Watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. A challenge. Even for someone like you. Six months ago, I was out at the estate hunting with my brothers. Custis and Morgan were always better shots, though one of them nearly killed me, all for a cruel joke. Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. By the outsider's eyes, I'm going to drink tonight. It'll have to be now, I think. With Campbell out of play, they'll move Lady Emily soon. And in a few days, Custis and Morgan will be out at the estate hunting, and we'll never catch them. Strange. I never thought I'd be the Pendleton heir, you know. I never expected any of this. Two barrels of flour, four weeks, eight men and three women. Oh no, I've lost it. Lady Lydia Pendleton. Ugh, no, I'd rather die of plague. Interesting. I won't ask, but the mark on the back of your hand. Are you studying the forbidden arts, Corvo? Never mind. 
We're all friends here. My neck still aches a little from the stocks. But I must say, you created quite an impression on the overseers during your visit. They are a nervous lot now. Downstairs, upstairs, almost done. finally back. Excuse me, Admiral. I was delayed. Pay close attention to your duty, miss. It will never work without Emily. And when she gets here, you will be her nurse and teacher. In a way, you're more important than Corvo here. You mean you found her? We have her location. And I'm sure Corvo will whisk her back here in no time. You, Miss Kernow, are tasked with tending to the most important person in the Empire. Tend to her every need, educate her, train her in graces, cut her meat if you must. Do whatever is needed. Do you understand? Yes, sir. If I were years younger, I'd be doing your job myself. Don't think I couldn't. I used to climb that rigging like a monkey. Wine's no good for a Navy man. I need a proper drink. You know, we met once, back at your old job. State dinner. You wouldn't remember. You were looking after the Empress. Ah, she was beautiful, wasn't she? A man sees funny things out at sea. The world's not at all like the overseers teach it. Not by a long shot. Give some thought to what you'll be doing when this foolishness is over, won't you? Anything you like, just name it. It's taken some adjustment to lead a civilian organization such as this. In my younger years, I'd have just ordered my ships to fire on the tower, then dragged the Lord Regent to me. But a bright future does not lay in that direction. Once we've got the daughter of the Empress here, we'll be counting on you to protect her. Oh, what I'll do when I get my fleet back. I've broken a blockade or two in my time. <laughs> 